welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is marina i do mobile home living in a trailer park in tennessee and i'm on my way to make my mobile home a mobile mansion today i've got all the ideas for my decor for my living room i took down in my last video you guys saw i took down my christmas decor i left a clean slate so i could sit at it look at it for a while kind of get a feel of what i wanted to, to do look at all of the blank spaces and imagine things there even though i'm not like i can't my husband can like look at things and he can see it in his mind and i have to almost calculate it like okay square here circle there triangle there you guys know what I mean <laughs> like I'm not blessed with that like mind that can just see something which is why I struggle with a lot of decorating that I do you know the good part about it is I'm not all about making it look aesthetically pleasing I'm just about making it look how I like it so I've been kind of like looking around for the last couple of days and just looking at all the blank spaces that I can put stuff in we're not going to fill spaces just to fill them though because I do like my home. I have found I love my home. Very crisp, very open, very airy, not cluttered down with a lot of decor. I think that's a lot of the reason why I veered off kind of from the heavy farmhouse decor because it is a very Cracker Barrel look. I've mentioned that Cracker Barrel look a lot and it's beautiful. I love it. I love going to Cracker Barrel, sitting down, looking all around me and seeing all the stuff on the wall. But for my home, my, my mind is too chaotic. I need I need my outside of my body to be quiet <laughs> not quiet quiet because you can hear my kiddos in the background right now I found that if I have a lot of decor in my home I get overstimulated super easily so what I'm focusing on this go around while decorating my living room is money pieces you know those like my hair right here you know how I had the blonde big old money piece in the back right there that's kind of the method I'm doing when it comes to my house this go around in this season of life I want them money pieces I want those areas in my home that make the rest of it just pop you know what I mean that being said this video is going to be about the things I have to do leading up to that decorate with me so I have a couple of pieces of furniture that I need to redo I have a table that's very special to me my papa who raised me I talk a lot about him on here my papa who raised me bought that for my nanny it's one of the last pieces of furniture I have from my childhood so that while it is awkward and it is unique and it is different <laughs> i'm going to make it into something i know my papa i've done so many things to it y'all my papa would not mind me doing all the things to this table he loved one thing i'll have to say is he was always adamant on me being me like he didn't ever ask me to be anything different <laughs> so i know he'll love whatever i do to that even if i were to cover it in leopard peel and stick or something he would love it i know he would then I need to redo my entryway table, which I have redone recently, as in like six months or so ago. I went with a more darker wood. It was like a, a gray wood, and I really don't like gray wood. I like gray wood floors. I love my gray wood floors. It makes this trailer look so open. But when it comes to furniture, I'm not a fan of gray wood furniture. It's, I'm not really a fan in the, of rustic stuff, antique stuff. I tried going that route and found out I didn't really like that. I kind of like the contrasting colors like black against white and, and dark wood against g light gray and things like that. Like that's kind of the, the thing I'm into. So I, have, I don't want to redo this, but I have to redo this because I tried a method that I came up with and it failed. <laughs> Miserably failed. <laughs> um... It, I, I tried to make it look good. It does look good, but I don't know what happened. I, I think I think my kids happened. <laughs> I think that's what happened because now like that it's all blotchy and it, it just I'll show you guys in a minute. You'll see like it doesn't look good. It looks like somebody just splattered dookie all over that thing. I've got to redo it. I'm thinking of doing a uh, I don't know. I have a lot of ideas in my head and these ideas today are complicated. So we're gonna see if. I can put them on paper and if my husband later on later on can help me because later I want to see if I can get him to like solve some pieces and stuff it's pretty intricate so let me show you what we're working with today okay so this is the piece of furniture that we are working with first this is the table that my papa it's the last thing I have that my papa ever bought for my nanny the last piece of decor I have from my childhood besides this right here which is a big part of why I wanted this in my home because this right here is from my childhood as well this is their dresser that they had in their bedroom it's very old but very dear to my heart those two pieces are from my childhood and from someone very special to me 
basically my daddy. We're gonna make this work because I really want to incorporate this piece into my home. Now, it, does it look like a spaceship? It's kind of octagony, ain't it? Is that an octagon, a hexagon? I don't know. It's kind of futuristic, but then again, it's kind of old school. I don't know. I don't know. That's pretty unique, though. <sighs> Glass in my house is a no, so I'm gonna have to take that out. Um, it also isn't really my style. I don't like a lot of glass in the house. First of all, I'm clumsy. I don't want to decapitate myself on accident by running through the house doing something ignorant like I'm always known to do. But secondly, all my kids get that trait from me. They are also clumsy. <laughs> so it's just a hazard, uh, which is why I've had it. I've had it like back in the corner in the bedroom until I could figure out what exactly I wanted to do with it. I did paint it this. It was a very chestnut brown. Um, last year I showed you guys me painting this actually. Like right when I first started my channel, I showed you guys me painting this. I tried to go with like my favorite colors in my home and it just didn't do well. I went with a muted like teal. It's like a mint green almost and this light wood on the top. Um, but it's, it's been through it because it's been in storage. It's been moved everywhere. It's just, it's pitiful. You see here, it's pitiful. So we're going to see what we can do with this thing. I've got high hopes. Even if it turns out ugly though, it's still going to be in my home because it means more to me than what it looks like. So let's get started on trying to fix it up though. Who am I going into the new year not playing games with paint? You mean to tell me I'm actually putting something down? 2022, new year, new me, baby. I'm not playing dangerous games with paint in 2022. I feel like I took up my nine lives with paint when in the dangers of it in 2021. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're doing things right this year. This is the table before. It is seriously beat up. And it's really just because I put it in any area I could to get it out of the way because I did not know what to do with this. Looking at this, I was like, man, what am I going to do? Like, I don't like the glass. And it wasn't until I was sitting on my couch and I looked over and you see to the right there that table with the wood on top and the black hardware on it. I looked at it and I said, oh snap. I got it. I got an idea. So I'm taking chalk paint and I am coating this uh, with a good layer of chalk paint and then going in on a second layer just to make sure all of it is coated. This was awkward. Um, you'll see me like I get in some weird yoga positions. <laughs> tearing paint in this like I'm in some weird positions and you might see my rocky top feet um here in a little bit I call my rocky top feet good old rocky top Tennessee all of us here no not all of us here just me because my feet are like that <laughs> that's something I'm gonna work on in 2022 who else has rocky top feet they're gonna work on in 2022 <laughs> somebody don't let me be alone don't leave me hanging somebody be with me and say, yeah, we're going to work on our rocky top feet in 2022. But you might see that. You might see a few Chewbacca hairs poking out of my britches. I took no shave in November entirely too serious. <laughs> I can't. Okay, like I take no shave all year entirely too serious. It's another thing I'm going to be working on. But I got in some weird positions. I had to bend over at one point and almost got paint all over my chin. And I tried really hard not to because I knew that a bearded, like a black bearded chin would just accentuate my already black mustache that I have going on. So I tried really hard not to get the black on my chin. I did get a little bit here on my chin in a minute, but it wasn't like no beard sized, you know, amount. But it was really, really awkward. I honestly dreaded this piece of furniture because look at all the nooks and crannies. Like, whoever made this was super, they had a super intricate mind. Like, they had a specific way that they wanted this made. They wanted it to look like a spaceship. And then they wanted, like, some column-looking, like, Roman cathedral columns as the legs. And they just thought that four wasn't enough, so they had to add an... It, they, they got intricate with it. <laughs> they really did. So it was awkward. There was a lot of nooks and crannies. And I just hate, like, I, I hate meticulous things. Like, I hate, like, sitting down and having to get it in every nook and cranny. But I really wanted to keep this piece in my home because of the sentimental value it holds to me. And I knew it had potential. I knew that I could do something to kind of tie it in with my home. Well, I've told you guys a thousand times that my house isn't going to be, like, Pinterest farmhouse I do love my farmhouse pieces I do love my farmhouse theme and that is a majority of what my house is I just I choose to add you know a little different things like sometimes I have 
boho pieces in here sometimes I don't know what is there like country cottage all kinds of stuff like I just add whatever I like and mostly anything goes with the farmhouse theme that's the best thing about farmhouses you can really adapt it to whatever taste you have like if you like boho boho goes with farmhouse anything really goes with farmhouse so I went with a more black route which I guess would be considered more modern modern farden I just said farden modern oh my gosh modern farmhouse I guess that's more that I don't know I don't I don't really know about all the styles um if, if I just see something I like it regardless but I think that that's more modern farmhouse if I'm wrong y'all let me know but I went with it because it really went well with that table over there and I love me some contrasting colors So here's what we've done. When I say we, I mean he, Shane. This is what Shane's done. So he's laid in our planks, which are really thin. They're just a little thicker than the glass. And he's put the glass on top of it to get the shape. He's tracing it, and then what? And then I'll cut it. And then he'll cut it. Yep. So that it fits down in this little, you see that groove there? So it fits down in there. We're also gonna put wood underneath it to support it, and some wood glue too, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Jolie must be wrestling Hercules right now. <laughs> yeah, here. <laughs> Luckily, the wood was thin enough to fit in that little groove, so we only had to taper off a little bit. Shane took our nail gun, and he just nailed it around the sides, and then he took two pieces of almost two by four wood and nailed them and wood glued them from the bottom to give it some support so that I could set whatever I wanted to on it. That wood might not have been two by fours. I think it was just one by fours. It was, you just, I just needed a thicker wood to support it. I had to be careful with the Jayco bean because I didn't want it to be so dark that it kind of got lost with the black, you know what I mean? That it blended too well. But then again, I didn't want it light enough to where it would clash with it. So I ended up doing two really light coats of Jayco bean stain. And I really liked the way that that kind of played off the black. It ended up being a color really close to the mantle like the the richness of it is close to the richness of the Jayco bean on our mantle so it kind of flowed with that so I, I went really light-handed I wanted to go heavier handed but I, I didn't I, I refrained <laughs> You can see those little specks around on the black where whenever we were putting in the wood, it scratched it up a little bit because we hadn't yet sealed it. I just went and finger painted with the black chalk paint and covered those up before I went and sealed it. I sealed it, you'll see here in a minute, with some spray polyacrylic. I did it in the matte finish and it coated it really well to where I tried scratching it again after I sealed it and it, it didn't scratch. So it did a phenomenal job as always. I love polyacrylic. I never tried the spray polyacrylic till now, but it seems to work just as well as the can that you, you know, paint on. What's your type? Somehow I want to know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me, it's in the dark. Y'all 
see my breath. It's like 20 degrees out here, but I gotta put a spray finish on this table. If you hear a baby skip and you don't worry. The whole trailer park does too. I got it flared. It was so cold that as I was spraying the polyacrylic on there, the polyacrylic was trying to freeze on me. So I was trying to hurry and get the first coat done so that I could go in, sand it, bring it back out, and do the second coat without it freezing. after while the polyacrylic the last coat of polyacrylic was drying on the end table i started to work on this booger uh this is what i was telling y'all about like it looks horrible i really don't know what happened i i don't know if one of the kids accidentally did something i don't know if they did they didn't tell me um i don't know if i you know i don't know what it was i don't know if it was maybe where i was dusting and where this antique stuff wasn't actually paint it just came up with the dust I don't know it, it could have been anything regardless it wasn't the best so what I did was I just lightly took a Brillo pad to it and I kind of just got cleaned it real good without flaking off the paint because I knew the chalk paint was thick enough to where I've done that on several times I put chalk paint over anything and it stayed so I coated it with a coat of white chalk paint, then went back in and did another coat of white chalk paint. And then to keep my black hardware black, we went in after it dried with a razor and just razored off the, the white paint that had got on the black hardware and then wiped it down with a wipe as I was going on, you know, paint. And you'll see me doing that several times. I'll take a wipe to it and just wipe it down real good. And then whatever's left we got with the razor. I also coated this with the polyacrylic matte finish as well. Don't think about it right now So we could have just lined these up straight and just did a flush uh, top, but I really wanted them spaced. Something about it. I really just wanted them spaced. It makes me think of a picnic table almost, and I had never seen anything like that. So we tried it, and I'm so impressed with how it turned out. Like, I, I, I wasn't unsure if maybe, you know, I, if I saw it on the bench and then it didn't look as good as it did in my head. Like I said, I had trouble seeing things in my head, but, well, I mean, I see a ton of things in my head, but y'all know what I mean. So when it got done, I was impressed. I was like, man, this looks so good, and it's so unique. I am in love with the way that it came out. I also went heavy handed on these with the Jayco bean, cause y'all know I love that dark wood against the whites. It's a beautiful, beautiful contrast. All right, y'all, time for befores. Let's check out these before and afters. What? Y'all going to let me know which one's your favorite. I can't pick. I, I love both of them equally.
for this. I love it. I love it so much. It really wasn't hard to fit those pieces down in there because we got these super thin pieces. This is the size that we got, if you can even see. Like, it's super thin. It was about the size of the glass. The glass was a little bit on the thicker side, so this was about the size. It fit down in there perfectly, but we did have to put support underneath it. We just put two vertical, thicker pieces of wood, almost the size of two by fours down there that it supported so I can set anything on it. You guys seen there, I set that lamp on it. That lamp I'm not happy about actually, but we're gonna work with it for now. I may return it. I did black chalk paint and spray matte poly acrylic on it and Jacob bean stain. I just went a little lighter on the hand when it came to the Jacob bean. And then over here, I did white chalk paint and I did Jaco Bean stain on the top. I went a little heavier on the hand with Jaco Bean. And I wanted a ribbed look, almost like a picnic table look. I had never seen anything like that before, but it's something that I really wanted. So we spaced them an appropriate amount of space, like in between each one. And I am in love with the way that it turned out. Absolutely in love. It gives it dimension, it makes it unique. I love it. I left the hardware black on it and then I coated it with the spray paint, the polyacrylic spray paint. I'm in love. I don't know if the way that you guys saw all these things decorated will be the way that it stays. Um, I'll probably play around with it in my decorating video, but these are them. I like this one. It is very unique. Both the pieces have turned out to be unique, but this one's very unique and it's very special to me. So I'm, I, I'm loving it. Call me Mickey D's. I'm loving it. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.